What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs. Have to decide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. I uh, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, type this is to five. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash at Movenmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Um, I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks to all my A1 Day ones, and thanks for all the new subbies. Um, I appreciate all the love and support to the channel. Single mom and two kids, so it really helps support um, a single mama in her business, uh, one of her businesses. So thanks so much. I really appreciate it, okay? Um, I have another channel, hashtag Leo Gang, hashtag all caps, L-E-O-G-A-N-G, -E um, exclamation point. Um, it's for Leo, um, people with Leo um, aspect in, in any aspects of your charts or cross, cross watchers. So um, you're welcome to check that channel out as well if you would like. Um, I did receive a channel message in. I wasn't going to do another one tonight because it's almost midnight, but um, but we're here. We're here, baby. So, um, why not? Just saying. Um, love you guys. Love you. Okay. So, um, these are, um, don't forget the, well, I already went over the basics, but only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. That's very, very, very important, you guys. Please do not force anything that doesn't fit. You cannot fit a square into a hole. So, please don't force it if it don't fit, okay? If it does, I would love to know if it resonates if you would care to share it okay if you do not want to share it you do not have to okay okay so <clears throat> channel message i received was um police car i heard police car and police vehicle um um confirmations are about to come very 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 significant um in a particular person's life um I heard for one, your um, very abusive sister, for one, your very abusive brother, um, and for one, your very abusive ex is about to get arrested soon. A lot of abusive people. So um, I, I feel it's at least for three people. <laughs> I moved in, fat boy goes. Um, it's, I feel it's at least for three people. Police, car, and police vehicle confirmations. So, you plug it in how it resonates. I feel that depends on where you live. And I say that because, you know, like I live in Huntsville, Alabama. Well, our city has grown leaps and bounds. We are, I'll just use my city as an example because I can't use any other place because I don't live any other place. But here, this city has grown leaps and bounds. We are the highest population city in the state of Alabama right now. Um, and I say that with the police force, we just don't have the regular police cars very back in the day when i was a kitty wearing my little pony underoos that's what it was the standard white huntsville hpd police car now there's police suvs i saw a police gt the other day cool little sleek black gt um police uh, you can tell by the plates and it, uh, it had it on the side too um suvs what have you, what have you. So we have many different, we have undercovers, many different police vehicles here. But it really all depends on where you live is what I'm trying to say. Um, however this resonates, okay? So for one, it's a police vehicle. For one, it's a police car. Um, but it sounds like you're about to start seeing these. And it, a lot of them. A lot of them, a lot of them. So you're about to see a lot of police cars or police vehicles, and that's going to give you some kind of confirmation in the universe is what I feel. Um, but you plug the message or messages in how they resonate. For one of you guys, your abusive sister is about to be arrested soon. For one, it is your, um, her one abusive sister, one abusive brother, and one abusive ex is about to be arrested soon. So they have not been arrested yet. And I did hear abusive for all three of them, whether it's your sister, your brother, or your ex. And I feel your ex could be an ex-husband, an ex-wife, an ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, 
ex sneaky link, ex situationship, ex baby mama, well, baby mama, baby daddy, what have you, what have you, okay? Um, I feel ex could fit in many categories, but you plug it in how it resonates, and I feel that could be a man or a woman, ex. And for some, it's your sister, for some, it's your brother, okay? But it sounds like you're about to start seeing a lot of police vehicles or police cars um, in the universe as confirmation um, that your abusive sister, brother, or ex is about to be arrested soon. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap, man. This is some strong stuff. I'm going to pull a couple, couple of Kipper and see if I hear anything else. And then um, and then I'll close it, okay? I'm not going to make it real long because honestly, I'm, I'm ready to go to bed. Spirit message. Oh. Mature woman. Spirit messages. Okay. High honor. I heard stop. Okay. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your, your specific story and situation, not anybody else. And by the way, I want to say real quick, personal readings are currently closed. I've had some um, people um, communicate with me and ask me about personal readings. They're currently closed right now. So I just kind of want to make that a blanket statement publicly on here just to let everybody know. Okay. Uh, when I open them up for the newbies that have just joined my channel, when I do open up personal readings, I make a separate promotion video letting you know they're open. So everybody on my channel knows, okay, for the newbies, okay. So a mature woman, upright and high honor, upright. Number six or twenty-five could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number six or twenty-five could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to. Significant age of you or somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number in one's life. Mature woman, upright, high honor, upright. And I want to point out real quick, mature. It says mature, and it, I'm. Feel you are the mature femme energy here. About to see these uh, police car or vehicle confirmations. <clears throat> Maturity is not about age. It is about mental and how you treat people and handle situations. Um, and I'm just being serious, okay? So, <clears throat> saying that, you can be 25, 30, you can be 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75 and be very mature. Or you can be 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75 and be very immature. Do you go around screaming and throwing things and um, planning illegal voyeur cameras in people's homes or creating um, community pedophile rings or what have you, what have you? You see what I'm saying? Um, it's how you manifest yourself in the universe, how you handle situations, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what I'm saying is, Whoever you are, femme energy, or masculine, it takes on heavy femme because you know everybody takes on masculine and feminine energy. So uh, this is either a femme energy. You're either a femme energy, ma'am, about to see all these police car confirmations, I'm feeling, or you're a masculine that takes on heavy femme because everybody takes on masculine and femme energy. Like, I'm a woman, but I take on masculine energy because I've been single for so long. But however that resonates, whether you're a woman, a femme energy, or a masculine takes on heavy femme, you're very mature. I don't care if you're 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, or 85, okay? But I feel you're about to get high honor. Um, and I'm serious about that. Because for some, your ex, um, not ex-husband. Oh, I don't know why I said it. Ooh, I almost said ex-husband. I didn't hear ex-husband from the spiritual universe, but I almost said it. For some, it could be your ex-husband. I didn't hear that from the spiritual universe. I just want to disclaim with that. I did not hear that. I said that. So I don't know. For some, it could be your ex-husband. Maybe for some, not. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. But however that resonates, whether it's your ex, whether it's an ex-husband or not, or any other kind of ex, or a um, or a sister or a brother, they're, uh, they're about to be arrested on um, feeling for abuse. Because I heard they're abusive. So I think you're about to get high honor, ma'am, or sir that takes on ma'am energy. About to get serious high honor.
about to get serious high honor is what I heard. About to get serious high honor. Holy crap. Makes me want to pull another one. You're about to get serious high honor, man. Um, let's pull one more. Alright, yeah, let's pull one more. About to get serious high on it. Um, confirmations of police vehicles is about to become very significant. Either a police car or a police vehicle. And I heard many of them. So it's not just me one police car, one police vehicle. It's about to be a lot of them. I, I, I feel you're about to start seeing them out, all out in your world. Your 3D space. Your world. Um, I feel they could Hopefully, they're not going to be pulling you over. I don't feel they're going to be pulling you over. I think you're just going to be seeing them. Maybe they're going to be pulling other people over. Maybe they'll be out traffic stopping. Maybe they'll be out scanning motorists. Um, maybe you'll see them parked at a gas station or a convenience store. Well, a gas station or a convenience store or a restaurant or um, uh, what have you, what have you. But a lot of them. Spirit messages. Bad health upright, great fortune reverse, number 31 or 26 could be very significant numbers in one slide. And imprisonment. Or right, bottom of deck take it, number 29 could be a very significant number. Um, 26, 31, 29. So we have bad health upright, great fortune reversed, imprisonment upright. It's over. A very immature, spoiled. Feminine energy is very pissed about this. It's over. A very immature, spoiled feminine energy is very pissed about this. Um, an illegal business is over. An illegal business is over. A very immature, spoiled fem energy is very pissed about this. So an illegal business is over and a very immature, spoiled fem energy is pissed about this. So, um... I think she might be one of the ones about to go to jail, whether it's your sister or your ex, possibly. And I think for some, you're about to create a series of chain events to put her there. Whether you're a femme energy or a masculine takes a heavy femme. You plug it in, how it resonates. And I definitely think you're going to get high honor for this. Um, she's in bad health, is what I'm feeling. I heard she's very spoiled and immature. Um, so she would come off as immature woman. Mature woman reversed. I heard she's very spoiled and immature, um, and she's pissed and illegal business is over. Well, I think she's pissed it's over because we have great fortune reversed. I think she was making a hell of a lot of money from it. She was making bank off of it. But through many series of chain events, she is about to lose so much money soon and quickly. She's going to end up spending more money to get out of this than what she made overall. Okay, I heard, she, I heard she made so much money off of it, but through many series of chain events, she's actually going to end up spending more money than what she made overall to get out of this. So I think she's about, about to be one of the ones about to go to jail. And I think for some of you guys, you're about to create series of chain events to put her there. For some. And I'm serious about that. And you're about to get high on her. One of these situations will be on the news. Probably more than local news. One of these situations will probably be on the news more than local news. God, this is this is going to be juicy. Damn. So one of these, there's at least two in the situation, uh, two in the universe. At least one I heard will probably be on the news more than the local news. So national news is what I'm presuming. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Definite jail energy here. Definite. Um, at least one person. In some of these situations, and some, I mean, I think at least two or two plus. Damn. Bad health. A feminine energy is off the chain. Very aggressive, very pissed, very mad. She's a pedophile. She has addictions. She's very aggressive. There are many, 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 many series of chain events. Someone is about to get very tired of this and they're about to call the police on her and she will be arrested and it's about to go very downhill for her in huge ways. 
Okay, I heard a feminine energy is very, very, very pissed about the ending of this business. I heard an illegal business. I heard she's a pedophile, so I think it might have been a community pedophile ring or an online pedophile ring or some kind of something to do with the pedophile ring uh, for one of these situations. I heard she has addictions too, so she might be a drug smuggler, a drug diverter, or a drug user. Uh, how that resonates. Oh, or both. She could be a pedophile, like running a community pedophile ring and a drug user. How that resonates. But she has serious addictions. She's very aggressive. Um, I think verbally abusive, maybe physically abusive. Um, she, so One of you guys, whoever you are over here, whether you're a femme or a masculine, takes on heavy femme, I think you might, if, if she starts hitting on you or hitting somebody, you might call her in for domestic violence, possibly, or assault to the police, possibly. I don't know. Only you know your situation, not anybody else. But it sounds like in the current energetic space, she's very aggressive, mean, um, verbally aggressive. She might have gotten, um, she might hit, she might hit or has already hit you or somebody else. Um, it, okay. For anybody who doesn't know, if somebody hits you in the home and they're not playing around, that's domestic violence and that is assault. That is abuse. And you can call the police just to let everybody know. In fact, I encourage everybody to do that to protect yourself. Of course, you can take the advice or leave it. I'm not here to give you advice. I'm here to give you spiritual downloads from the spiritual universe, but I don't want anybody abused either. So that is called domestic violence when people are hitting on you and you're not joking around playing WWE in the living room, okay? Whoever this person is, I don't feel you're playing WWE with her in the living room. Um, I heard she's very spoiled, very aggressive, very um, mean, but it's because she's losing all this money on the pedophile ring or a drug situation because I heard she has heavy addictions. Um, how that resonates, okay? Definite pedophile ring in one of these situations. For one, I feel it could be drugs. Like a drug smuggling ring broke up or a drug diversion ring broke up or uh, drug dealing broke up. How that resonates, okay? But I heard she's very currently aggressive in the universe. So she can be verbally aggressive to you on the phone, verbally aggressive to you in person, physically aggressive, or what have you, what have you. I heard through many series of chain events, one of you guys is about to call the police on her. So something, it sounds like she's already like this currently in the universe, but something else is about to occur. It sounds like down the line in the universe to where you are going to call the police on her. Femme energy or masculine takes on heavy femme. And you're going to get high on her, I think, once she gets locked up. I hear that song, locked up, she won't let me out, oh. She won't let me out, oh. And I heard it's over in here. So this business or businesses, illegal business or businesses, it's over. And it's causing huge money loss. And I heard it's going to continue. I heard for one of these fem energies, they're going to end up spending more money getting out of this than what they made overall in this. And for some of them, they were exploiting children to do it. For some, it could have been drugs. Bad health. <clears throat> Her life is about to go downhill hugely and quickly. She deserves to be behind bars, and through many series of chain events, she will. Charges. Okay, I heard her life is about to go downhill in a <clears throat> huge, quick way. So, like a six of wands, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> a six of wands with five, five, five change energy, basically. Quickly, quickly with a lot of change. I heard she deserves to be behind bars, and I heard she will get there soon. Um, prostitution was a huge thing in this, too. Prostitution was a huge thing in this, too. So, prostitution was a huge thing in this, too. So, I don't know if she was the prostitute, or she pimped out other people to be prostitutes, or what have you, what have you. But somehow, prostitution was huge in this, too. We have drugs in here, we have prostitution, and we have child pedophilia. I mean, all those are horrible um, combinations, and that's just the truth. Um, so through many series of chain events, I heard she deserves to be in jail. Um, well, she deserves to be in prison. In my, I mean, I'm serious, <clears throat> but I heard she'll get there soon through many series of chain events. I think by you, ma'am, I think you're about to call the police on her. You have some substantial inf information, evidence on her or masculine takes on heavy femme. So maybe the like that acts in a ma'am energy, how that resonates. Okay. Um. So she's about to be locked up. I heard finally, finally, 
So it sounds like she should have been in jail or prison a long time ago. There's definitely going to be prison involved in this. This is going to be very, very, very public. Very. Huge mental health issues here. Huge. Okay, I heard there definitely will be prison involved in this through many series of chain events. I heard charges too. So two or two plus charges. So not just one charge. Uh, like, you know, my class C misdemeanor, my disturbing the peace charge. Not like that. Um, two or two plus charges. And whatever these are, these are huge charges. I'm feeling like felony charges here. Um, but I'm not the police. I don't know what she's going to be charged with. But that's what I'm feeling. So you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard she should have been locked up um, years ago. But it sounds like it's about to happen. It sounds like it was delayed. It was stagnant for whatever reason in the universe. But soon it's about to happen. It's about to happen a lot quicker than she seems to think. It's about to happen a lot quicker than she seems to think. So, well, good. It's good to get, I mean, you've got pedophilia in here. You've got drugs and you've got prostitution. I mean, Lord, I heard this person has severe mental health issues. Well, yeah, my God, if you involve yourself in prostitution, drugs, and pedophilia, I would say so. And I'm just being serious. Sounds like this person needs, um um some mental health for it too and i didn't hear that in here but dear god i mean this is serious but i heard prison will be down the line for her um through many series of chain of events and it's going to be more than one charge whatever this how whatever charges she's going to be charged with i don't know if she's going to be able to make bail or not make bail i'm not sure i didn't hear any of that i didn't hear if she was it was going to be no bail or bail or what have you what have you but i do know from working in the jail and being arrested one time in my life, I will tell you guys this, and then I'll close it. Depending on your charge or charges is dependent on whether you can, or whether you've been arrested before, is dependent on whether you can get out and depending on what your bail is to get out. <clears throat> and that's just the truth. So, um, and I'm serious. So whoever this person is and how they apply, okay? Identity theft is significant in here, too. And identity theft. God, we've got prostitution, pedophilia, prost um, drugs, and identity theft. This person just done the most. Um, it's a femme energy. It, well, one of them is a femme energy. It's at least your brother. For some, it's your brother. For some, it's your sister. For some, it is a lover. Um, Ex-lover. I heard an ex. I heard an ex. So, you plug it in how it resonates. All right, I'm getting out of this. Love you guys, I'm going to say.